Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 11, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, yes, oil or WTI oil has been basically falling off a cliff since we basically got to the highs here of $130 per barrel, went all the way down to roughly $93.97 per barrel. And at this current stage, it has rallied up towards, uh, we can see it right here, $97.84 per barrel. So we did break out of uh, this, this uh, pattern here, you can write it up. And uh, what I said in yesterday's video is that we may see oil start testing this upper trend line, which is basically did today, and then pull back. And that is a fairly good sign that we will see oil basically get rejected here and continue to the downside. If we do so, then the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 91.55, will most likely be the first area where we'll find support. After that, we'll go all the way down towards the 200 moving average at 80, 81. To the upside, if we break above this line and above this line, then we are most likely going to change direction and go back towards 100, 110, 116, and $200 per barrel. I don't favor the, uh, the next or the second scenario are more uh, in favor of getting rejected here and then heading at lower levels, mainly due to the fact that world economy is going to slow down. And expectations are also that the world economy is going to slow down. So if you look at um, technical news, we can see that the MACD is bearish at this point. Stochastic has crossed the signal line in negative territory indication bearish uh, bullish momentum and the RSI is turning around. So we may see, of course, we'll see uh, rallies in between, but we're still heading downwards. This is a major break to true in um, true, uh, true uh, basically in support. And therefore we may see this go even lower. So if we look at natural gas, it has kind of shown weakness at the end of uh, this week and uh, that's kind of expected so there are a few things that are are pushing this market higher weather conditions in the united states and also the war in in europe so the war in europe kind of expectation is that higher demand will be for natural gas from the from the united states in the future and therefore demand is uh, is uh, basically making price go up and of course demand be due to the to uh, um, to worse weather conditions in the united states is also making demand go up but this is getting way out of hand it's getting parabolical we're significantly overbought and it's a little bit better today because we pulled back and we're also running into an area which has been significant uh, resistant in the past we saw it here and also here and now we get rejected as well so it may well be that we continue to the upside and if we do then we're going significantly higher and uh, the drop will be even even uh, even significant uh, lower but we could also drop towards the previous highs here of 5.5 .5. that's probably where we'll end up next week. Then the middle of the bullish band, 5.4, 50 moving average, 4.9, and the 200 moving average at 4.6. If we look at technical English, we can see that MACD is bullish, stochastic is across the signal line, still in, in bullish territory, and the RSI is significantly over uh, bought at this current stage and is turning around. If we look at the weekly chart for uh, for natural gas, we can see that we are significantly outside of the bullish band. And the same goes the last time we were significantly outside of the bullish band, we basically dropped all the way down to the very bottom. So we went from roughly 4.5 all the way down to 3.5. And at this current stage, 
and it is it's very plausible that we'll go all the way down to the 50 moving average of 4.3 or the very bottom here at 3 which is also the bottom of the bullish band and the 200 moving average so we're entering a period where weather conditions are going to get warmer less demand is going to be for natural gas and therefore we will most likely see the price decline over time it doesn't have to be next week but in the next few weeks demand is going to fall off a cliff and therefore prices will drop so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much